what is up you guys it is parker here with deco exchange y'all we've got another great tutorial out today and i just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel like the video down below and at the very least y'all leave us a comment and let us know what you think hope you enjoy all right so y'all what i'm thinking is we always do like whimsical and fun and over the top I want to do something that is a little bit more elegant ish at least as elegant as I can go we're gonna start with a single ribbon we're gonna want a pretty long tail so I'm gonna do a tail at least as long as my board Get that twist started. All right, let's go about six and a half to seven inches out. Y'all on this one, we want really big loose loops. So our loops are not gonna get any smaller, if at all, as we make a few of these. All right, another long tail. Tie this off. I'm gonna pull that pipe cleaner nice and tight and give it a good little twist. Y'all, we're gonna add this bow right up here. So just attaching it through our grapevine. All right, so our bow is there. Y'all, and I kept this bow really loose because we're gonna fill in with our greenery. Y'all, from this point, we wanna get a little bit of greens in here. Y'all, we don't need, we don't need all that. All right, so I want to get this crease to be as close to the bow as possible. Right, so it's right under the bow. That way our bow can fall back right on top of it. Look how that's already adding so much to it. So y'all, I want to bring this pine back this way as well, right? So I'm going to work this one right over here. It's just All right, so I want these stems to come towards the inside. Y'all, and this one, I want to come out down here further than this one did. But I don't want it, all right, so what I don't want it to do is look like the stepchild, right? The redheaded stepchild. Like, I don't want it to be coming out way down here where there's this random gap in between. I want it to look like this branch just keeps on going, right? So I'm going to come up here towards the top and work this branch in. so that it has a nice base that keeps on coming on down, right? Y'all, I'm also gonna fluff these out a little bit so that it's nice and three-dimensional. Y'all, we need to get these glued in place. All right, so all our stems are positioned in there. Right, so we're gonna wanna get some of these curls out this way a little bit. But I wanted to go back over this pine with a little bit of the frosted look. 
to make it look more wintry. Now I picked out some pieces that looked a little scraggly because I want to fluff these out because I don't want to put a whole nother tree on top of this tree, right? I want to just layer it with a little bit of bouginess. So this one is just going to fit right into what we already have there. And that way you can still see what we had on in the beginning. All right, y'all, I'm going to use a zip tie to secure this pine and the other one so that the bottom doesn't get floppy on us. Y'all, I'm going to get this up towards the bow. I'm pretty sure that pine cone is going to get nipped. So we're just once again layering. So y'all, all I'm doing is pulling my fingers through the design and grabbing some of the pine that was at the very base and pulling it up and out. All right, so what we're doing every time is just making sure that we're carrying everything along the same pattern. Shoot some glue in there. All right, y'all, and then we need to bring a little bit of berries up over there on that side. Y'all, I want to get some fake tails added in there. So I cut a tail that's, I don't know, about 36 inches long. Y'all, I'm going to take this tail and I want a shorter side and a longer side. Now at this point, you could just wrap a zip tie around it, put a pipe cleaner around it, however you have to attach it. I'm going to use my pick machine because that's what I have. So we'll pull that shorter one up here and then we'll have our longer one that hangs down this way. Now what I didn't know if I wanted to do this and then have the tail come out which I think I do. So y'all for that, I'm just going to put a little zip tie right around that ribbon and an attachment point in the wreath. All right, give our tail a little curl. All right, y'all let's get one more tail here and maybe a short tail added up there. All right, so quick recap. We used a 18 inch grapevine we used um, about a half a roll of ribbon. We used three wispy pine picks, right? So we put our one wispy pine up here, one here, and then one to carry it down. We added two filler stems. One was just pine. One was pine with berries. Right, and we just followed the exact same pattern as the other pine. And then we added some fake ribbon tails. All right, that's it for tonight, y'all. Quick, easy, straight to the point. Y'all have a good night. Bye, y'all.